Hi, my beautiful Leos. I send you so much love and light. Happy holidays, you guys. I hope that you're all doing great. So today is just a little bonus love reading. Let's take a look and see what's coming in for your love life in December. Your messages from spirit, experiences you could have. Let's see what's coming your way in your love life. All right, my beautiful Leos, um, I am a Leo myself, sun, moon, and rising, in case you guys didn't know. If you're new here, my name is Lynn. This is Passionate Heart Tarot. I do hope that you guys enjoy this bonus love reading. Let's see what is to come through to you from spirit. All right, Leo, before I get into the reading, I just want to take a moment to invite the white light of the Holy Spirit. All right, Leo, let's see what are your messages, what is coming through from spirit. Let's take a look at your love life. Hmm, this is interesting. Nine of Wands, Three of Cups. Three of Cups in reverse, and, and I, I know I've said it a million times if you guys have been following my readings throughout December, but there's just something uh, where I keep picking up on outside interference around you, Leo. And here it is again, the Three of Cups in reverse with the Nine of Wands. I just feel like some of you in your love lives, you just may start to, to take a second look at things. I feel like that's what it could be because for some of you, it could literally be another person around you that is possibly tempting you. But it's all, you know, for others of you, I feel like it's this energy of maybe you thinking about someone else yet in a position where you feel stuck, where you feel trapped. I say that because the nine of wands is the overall energy and that is, it's very emotional, yet feeling like I'm stuck. I don't know what to do. Have I gotten myself in over my head, gotten myself in a position that I don't know how to get myself out of? So I wonder if any of you Leos watching this, do you, you know, not to be too nosy, but we are all adults here, so let's just be honest like are you with who you feel is right for you um because why why do you feel so trapped like that you know why is there this outside influence over you so it makes me wonder are you are you looking outside of the connection and wondering if the grass is greener because that's what it feels like to me or or do you know that someone recently has come back into the picture? Because with this three of pentacles coming in reverse, that's a strong message about uh, someone is not keeping their word. So I wonder if any of you here uh, made promises to someone, but as December progresses, I wonder if you're starting to feel like you can't uh, keep the keep the same promises you made or feeling like, is, is this commitment right for you? Because I can just see where there's a struggle around some of you Leos. That's what's going on. There's a struggle. And if this hasn't yet come in, I do feel like temptations, they're, they're very, very much possible, especially with this three of wands. Three of Wands is, is very, it's very optimistic. I feel like it's very much getting caught up in a moment and feeling like I'm getting everything I want in that moment. Feeling like uh, something I've waited so long for, here it is right in front of me. So I wonder if any of you are waiting for someone to come back into the picture. Is there some, what are you waiting to receive, Leo? I ask that because it's personal and I can see you receiving what you've been waiting for but then it's this weird energy of with a with um breaking promises somewhere and i'm receiving elsewhere and that's why i feel this three of cups is coming in reverse because some of you might feel like you're in a, in a position where you're torn 
where you're trying to decide between left and right, where you're trying to decide between um, present and the past, or you're trying to decide between maybe two people that are around you presently. That's what I can see, and I've been seeing it for quite some time around you. I see you guys choosing to follow uh, what you think is going to, it's, I don't mean to say it's like self-centered because, you know, I don't mean for it to come across like that, but I can see you getting wrapped up in whatever you feel makes you the happiest and the most optimistic, but there is this weird energy of breaking promises in order to receive that happiness. And with the Three of Cups coming in reverse, it's definitely outside interferences. So basically, I can see a reading for you guys coming through where you might be put in a position where you feel like it's hard for you to decide what you're doing because of outside influence and temptation. Even for some of you, if that influence is just you thinking and wondering what if, that's what's going on around you. I want to look at that Three of Pentacles. Seven of Swords in reverse. Hmm. I think you you even have someone um, that is kind of asking you to put their trust back in them. I can see that it was broken at one point in time, but I will say this, Leo. Are you going to turn around and do something to someone else that was done to you? Like, don't think I'm trying to scold you or anything like that when I, when I say that, but it almost looks like the tables turn for some of you where it, it's all, it almost looks like you have someone around you now and you have a temptation. You have another temptation around you. And then it's like, I wonder if at one point in time you felt like you couldn't truly trust that person and they didn't keep their promises to you. Because now I see the tables turn and they may put you in a position where you are breaking your promises to someone else and breaking the trust uh, with someone else. I think that it's important that you remain true to yourself, Leo. And try not to get caught up in short-term satisfaction because there's something that feels very fleeting about this energy. And even the fact that no major arcana has come through, uh, that's important because that's why it feels fleeting. That's why it feels temporary. I just see where some of you are, are having to choose. And if you're going to, the, the best way to make your choices, Leo, is just to go based on someone's history and what they've already shown you. If you feel like you have someone that comes back into your life that ultimately didn't make a commitment to you or broke their promises to you and made it so it was difficult for you to trust and love, I just have to give you a, a heads up. Um, don't let that person make you into someone that's like them. Very interesting reading. I didn't expect to see this. I didn't really know what to expect of Brown Leo's energy, but I know that this is like a pattern that's repeating for you guys. I feel like you do have something coming in that you've been waiting for. But then again, it does feel like it's short term. I think you have to be careful to not let um, outside influence, you know, make you think that the grass is greener on the other side because the grass could be greener right under you, Leo. I want to look at that three of wands. And I know in December I had a reading for you guys um, telling you why you should keep moving forward. So if you didn't have a chance to check that out and you relate to this reading, you might enjoy that. That might be helpful for you. Look at that three. 
Yeah, isn't that funny? Because the Three of Cups is now repeating. If you think, I'm just laughing because like, do you think you can be friends with this person, Leo? Because I feel like you need to be really honest with yourself about something that might definitely cross the line. Because this, th these threes combined, it's like, oh my God, I haven't seen them in so long. They invited me. I'm going to go spend time with them. I'm going to see them. I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. Um, and if you think that things are going to remain platonic between you and that person, it's not going to. And then I just feel like there's a lot of um, confusion that can come in for you if you cross the line. And I would even say... For those of you that feel, you know, you relate to this reading and, and it's like a friend that you're thinking of as you watch this, I would, I would even be careful to not let things between me and one of my friends cross the line. You know, if, if for whatever reason, chemistry starts brewing between you and a friend, I would say to be very careful of that. I would say to avoid, to avoid that altogether if you want, like... Based on what I can see, the way that it makes you feel, I would say to avoid that altogether. Now, I'm reading for you, Leo. So I look at this as your experiences. But, you know, it's a general reading. So when I look from a higher perspective, since this is what's going around Leo, I wonder if, if this could be even someone around your person. Someone trying to tempt your person away. Or someone like coming through on your friend on your person side as a friend who wants so much more from them. You know, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that your person is gonna stray or anything like that. I just think you need to be aware um, that if someone's asking for friendship from them, they're not really looking for friendship. Because it, it looks like it crosses the line where maybe we thought we could be friends and have a good time, but it looks like there's potential for it to go way out of boundaries. I want to look at that Queen of Cups. Aries energy has now come through. I wonder if any of you are involved with an Aries or an Aquarius. Aries and Aquarius, are you thinking of, do you have a history with an Aries or an Aquarius? It could be cross watchers, Leo, watching your bonus, or that could be your moon or rising signs because it's come through. I feel like you guys need to choose really wisely because when I look at the Queen of Cups around the Emperor in reverse, it's almost like don't hold back from the wrong person because that, that Emperor's energy have, have, okay, so it's almost like you haven't let yourself fully try or fully given yourself to someone, maybe because your mind is on the past or your mind is thinking about what could be with this other person or I wonder what if, what could happen? Because it looks like the emperor is not getting a fair chance. And it's funny because the emperor is everything that you could really ask for in a partner. It's someone who's mature. It's someone who's wise. It's someone who's grounded, protective, someone who is a provider, someone that really is like spouse material, parent material. But with that energy coming in reverse with the closed off heart, it's almost like someone here has not fully opened up their heart to this very worthy person or they're holding back and maybe thinking about what if elsewhere with someone else, which is kind of a shame because that's missing out on something that's amazing right in front of you. So I'm putting that out there because I can see that. I wonder if you're doing that, Leo. Or if any of you feel like someone is being this way uh, with you. I do wonder that. You know, but I, like I said a moment ago, I am reading for you. Um, so I look at these as your choices, your decisions, and advice to you from spirit uh, to not miss something amazing, an amazing person that's right in front of you now, either because you're being tempted or just thinking about someone from 
the past. I just feel like the energy of the past will lead you astray. I do. You know, I'm not going to tell you to embrace the past if everything here is, is saying um, how it could be a weird turning of the tables where you have someone that, that hurt you before and then you turn around and hurt someone in that same way. Very, very interesting reading. I want to look at that page of pentacles. Five of Wands, this is a romantic competition. And then your Leo energy has come through now. Are you a Leo moon or rising as well? Or maybe you're even thinking about another Leo because that energy is here. I just think you need to let someone's uh, behavior and history from the past speak for itself. Because I do see someone who is in this energy of, um, I want to prove myself to you and I'm going to fight uh, to get you to notice me, to take a chance on me. But I'm telling you, Leo, all of this is like red flags. And I feel like there's such a strong possibility that you could be led astray. So this is really like, a, I feel like it's a reading for those of you in a connection um, because it just looks like you're you're torn, you're torn. Or say you're not like um, in the connection fully. I still see you uh, feeling torn. If you couldn't trust that person before, I think you need to make really smart choices about whether or not you choose to trust them now. I I just think you need to be careful because um. Why would they try and pursue you so hard knowing that you are with someone already or that you're involved with someone? Um, I know that might make you feel flattered, though. That's the thing. Makes you feel flattered, makes you feel like this person's fighting for you, like they want to step up to the plate. But I'm telling you, Leo, um, when I see things crossing the line, three of cups coming in reverse, it's here twice. I know that there's a lot of regret around that. And I can see very clearly where someone has an amazing person right there in their life uh, that they're not fully opening up their heart to. That's what I can see. Of course, you guys have to do what you feel is best for you. And this is not a personal reading, it's a general reading. You know, I have to give those little disclaimers, but. That's what I can see. So there's a lot of temptation. But don't let that fool, don't let this person fool you. Because it's like, okay, yeah, now that I'm with someone else, now you want to come back and try and fight for me. Now you want me to make a promise to you. Now you want me to like sacrifice uh, my love life to take a chance on you. So I see all of that energy here, but then this person is also very tempting. I think that you're very attracted to this person, Leo, because I can see where there's like almost a giddiness where you can't wait to see them, hear from them, spend time with them. But I do feel like I have to tell you to not let yourself be led astray. And to ask yourself, like, if you have an amazing person around you, have you fully given that a chance? Or is your mind still on what if with that other one? You don't need to wonder what if with that other one because they've already shown you. that That's the truth about it. They've already shown you what they're all about. So now, the, and they're still coming through as a page. I mean, I mean, really, they're still coming through as a page. These two in comparison, they don't compare to each other. This is like a boy and that's like a man, you know, or like a girl and that's like a, a woman. And all the qualities that come along with being in that energy of an emperor or an empress. Like I described to you, it's wisdom. It's a, it's a kind heart. It's compassion. It's stability. It's consideration. That page of pentacles, I just, I'm just shaking my head because you can't really compare these two. 
that's what I can see, Leo. You know, not not to be, you know, too nosy or anything. You have to do what you feel is best for you. But that's what I can see going on in your love life. Definitely the um, air of temptation has been all around you in December. I love you so much, Leo. I hope that this little bonus was helpful for you. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up or share it with someone that you know would enjoy it as well. Leave a comment and I hope you'll subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much, Leo. I love you. Happy holidays. I'll see you in the next reading.